My next patron question is from Molly, who wanted to know if I think mass audiences would be fine or not notice if Hollywood films were produced entirely by AI. AI has become a big topic over the past few years, with concerns of whether studios will start using them in movies, including the writing of scripts and even the use of actors. This was a major sticking point in the dual Hollywood strikes that happened last year. It's definitely something to be concerned about. Before I get to the main question, I should probably talk about my own thoughts on AI, particularly AI used to create art. To be honest, every piece of AI art I've seen looks incredibly unappealing. There's always something off about them, with the fingers being the most apparent. In fact, the fingers are now the first things I look at when I see an image now. As is often the first hint, it was created by AI. There are other telltale signs too. Something I've seen people do is create AI by typing in, what if this director made this type of movie? Wes Anson has become a particularly popular choice with some creating images and trailers of fake Wes Anson movies. The problem is that AI seems to think Wes Anson only makes one type of movie, where the actors just stand in the middle room staring blankly, and that's it. Yes, he's a filmmaker with an identifiable style, but he has also never made the same movie twice. Moonrise Kingdom is very different from The Grand Budapest Hotel, which is very different from Isle of Dogs. Each of his movies have a distinctiveness to them, but AI is unable to realize that. They only have a basic reading of his movies with zero understanding of why they're interesting or appealing. Now, if people view AI as some sort of novelty to fiddle around with, then that's their choice. However, you have those who see it as some replacement for artists, which for me lacks an understanding for why people gravitate towards art. People like art because it's made by people. That painter drew that. That director set up a camera and filmed those actors. Someone choreographed the music video in collaboration with the writers and performers of that song. Having a bunch of ones and zeros create a crummy looking image is not the least bit interesting. I think using AI in a screenplay is also absurd. So many ideas in our favorite movie screenplays were born out of the writer's personal lives and inspirations. You would not be able to get that from ChatGPT. Have computers aided in creating some unforgettable images in cinema? Absolutely. An example that comes to mind is the wildebeest stampede in The Lion King. Making all those wildebeests by painstakingly drawing every single one would have been time consuming. So the visual effects team had the computer multiply them by hundreds and send them down randomly assorted paths. However, a person still had to draw distinct looking wildebeests, create those models in the computer, and make sure they did not merge or run into each other. And the result was quite a spectacular sequence that AI would have likely had trouble pulling off and making it look natural, even with the technology available today. Returning to the main question of whether viewers would notice the use of AI and be put off by it, I think it's possible. AI does have an uncanny valley look to it, and audiences do generally have an adverse reaction to that. Think about how many people got more and more disillusioned with the infamous dead-eyed look of Robert Zemeckis' motion capture productions, and by the time we got to Mars Needs Moms, they had enough of them. Now mocap is exclusively used to create aliens and animals in live-action movies. With that said, I have seen people be fooled by AI, even when it was obvious. A while back, Facebook put some wicked art on my feed, and it only took me a few seconds to recognize it was created by AI. The fingers were the most obvious sign, as always, but the backgrounds also looked off, and several parts of the pictures looked distorted. However, in the comments were several people who wanted to know where to buy the art. Of course, a recent case that went viral was the fake Willy Wonka experience in Glasgow. The images posted by the people responsible were clearly generated by AI, right down to words being misspelled. A lot of people who saw that likely realized the obvious scam, especially since most legitimate companies would have pictures of the actual location and attractions. And yet, there were somehow parents who saw those images and decided, hey, let's take our children to this, only to wind up disappointed. I have no idea why they did not pick up on the red flags. As disastrous as the Willy Wonka experience was, the way people online reacted to the event, in particular a fake character named the Unknown, also proved that AI will never replace human creativity. When the actors got the AI-generated script, the Unknown was primarily described as an evil chocolate man who lives in the walls of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Not much to work with, so they were told to just wing it. And what ultimately captured everyone's attention was not the AI script, but instead the movements of the actor as she came out from behind the mirror with that mask on and traumatized the children there. And the internet did what it usually does, and there have been so many creative fan arts and creations about the unknown. AI did not tell the actress behind the mirror to move like that, nor did it create those drawings and little animated shorts. People did those things, and they were wonderful, proving the incredible creativity held by so many. So despite the insistence of some in the tech field that AI will be the future of entertainment, I don't see that happening anytime soon, as it's still the hard work of talented people that audiences gravitate towards. Thank you for your question, Molly.